All right, what's what's up, everybody? JP here with Summer Luffin, and today is November fourth. Uh, so, taking a little break from working on the Jeep and uh, doing a little bit of work on the uh, off-road trailer, which is right there on the tarps. Um, I've had a little bit of bad weather for the past few days. I've been trying to get out here and do some work. Uh, so today's plan is to clean up the door frames and then skin them with the uh, aluminum sheets that I got. So right now I'm working on the rear door. I'll give you a quick look at the doors. All right, so this is the uh, rear frame. So I'm trying to clean this up. So that way I can put the adhesive down and uh, skin the aluminum on top. And those are the two side doors. This have to be clean and everything. And there are my, oops, those are the aluminum sheets. All right, so today's just gonna be a mashup of uh, using the steel grinder, the steel, um, I guess the, uh, the steel wire wheel, uh, the grinding wheel, and then uh, just getting these all cleaned up perfect, roughed up so that way the adhesive sticks and the aluminum um, skins will stick to the frames. Chose to go with the aluminum skins just to keep the weight down on the doors. And yeah, so that's the project for today. We'll see how much. I can get done. Hopefully I can get all three doors skinned up uh, for now. Just enjoy me grinding away. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you like this video. And uh, all right, here we go. Boring, I know, right? Yeah, it's freaking boring doing this grinding. But that's what happens when you let everything sit, so. All right, so I got the, uh, the door frame all cleaned up. I'm just gonna wipe it down with a little solvent, clean it up, and then uh, get the adhesive out, and then we're gonna skin it. So it's about almost an hour of grinding, maybe 45 minutes. Uh, hands are going tingly. All right, so let's get this one skinned up, and then uh, I can start grinding down the other one. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm using a uh, 3M um, polyurethane adhesive sealant. It's made for uh, panels and sheet uh, panel bonding adhesive. It's a uh, 3M560. Uh, it's very high strength and 50 minutes for it to cure. So. <laughs> hard to squeeze out it's so thick it's like ah Yeah. <laughs> 
my finger, oh my god, that hurts so bad. Alright, there you can see. That's the adhesive all the way around. So I'm just going to put the aluminum skin on, clamp it in place, and then let it cure. What's up everybody? Today is Thursday. So, a little bit of a time jump from, I think I was last working out here on Sunday. Um, yeah, just sometimes you got to take care of other business and uh, put stuff on hold. So I had to take, do some family stuff and uh, I did a uh, project in the kitchen, finished grouting the, uh, the uh, backsplash, so that's all done. So I'm back out here. So I was actually out here for about an hour this morning. Aurelia is taking a nap. So now I'm back out here to finish the two side doors. So from the last part of this video, I had started skinning the uh, back door of the trailer. So I'll show you what it looks like because um, it's all skinned. I primered uh, the frame so that way it doesn't rust anymore. And then um, I'm just gonna repeat the steps on the uh, other two side doors. All right, so let me show you a quick peek and then uh, we'll get back to doing some work. All right. All right, so here's the, uh, the rear door. So it's primered and then you can see that's the aluminum skin on the outside. So I still got to just um, sand the edges and everything and then uh, it'll be good to go. And we gotta just cut the holes for the uh, for the uh, latches, and then put the hinges on, and then it's ready to go. All right. So started early this morning. Started grinding the welds, and we're gonna clean this up and uh, skin both doors. So, all right, that's what we're working on right now. So more grinding away. So I'm done grinding and cleaning up one of the doors. I'm going to, as you can see, test fit the uh, panel, the skin. I'm going to uh, lay down my uh, adhesive, clamp it in place, and then I'm uh, going to let it dry. It's got a 50 minute cure time, or a flash time, and then I can unclamp it. So while this one is curing, I'm going to then do the second side door and get that one all prepped to go. All right, so. I'm going to do some uh, sealing or caulking, putting that, that stuff. All right, here we go.
Whew. All right, that hurt the hands. All right, I'm just gonna put the, uh, the aluminum paddle on and uh, clamp it down and set it off to the side, let that cure, and then we'll start working on the other one. All right, not too bad. are all in place. I'm just gonna let this cure. I'm gonna take this off here and uh, I'm just gonna put some weights along the diet, the uh, horizontals that are behind there just to make sure that sticks down on the uh, adhesive. All right, there it is. It's curing. So we're gonna let that sit. Now we're gonna do side door number two. So I'm just gonna I grinded all the welds already. Just gonna clean up all the rust. All right, so the second door, which is right there, that is all cleaned, it's ready to go. I have about 35 more minutes for door number one to, uh, to cure, and then I can unclamp it. So I'm gonna take a little break and then uh, find something else to do, try and maximize my time. All right, it's been over an hour, so I'm gonna unclamp this and then um, skin up the other one and clamp that one. And then I'm gonna go food shopping. gonna throw this in the shed, let it cure overnight, and then uh, we can paint it tomorrow. So door number two, skinned, now I'm going to let it cure and I got to go food shopping. Alright, quick peek at how it looks. Alright, be back later to uh, unclamp it. What's going on everybody, it's uh, Friday, um, the doors are all skinned and I'm going to prime them right now. Uh, I got back late last night from food shopping, so everything was in the dark. Couldn't see anything. So, front of the door, aluminum. And you can see there's my framing using, uh, this is actually, I've never even said it, but this is three quarter by three quarter um, steel. And then you can see the adhesive 
So I'm just going to prime this steel so I don't have to worry about it. And I'm using a weld through primer so if I ever have to do anything I can still weld through the primer and uh, make any changes. But yeah, it's actually nice and light. The aluminum is an uh, eighth inch thick. So I went with the thicker aluminum um, to make the door feel nice and um, rather than go with like a real thin sheet metal. So that's why I did that. All right, let's uh, paint it up. So that's it for the doors. Uh, they're all skinned and primed. So the next step I gotta do is do the cutouts for the hinges. Now, I have to mount the hinges and I have to do the cutouts for the door latches. Uh, so that'll be the next project and once I do that, then hopefully I'll be able to mount them on the trailer. So yeah. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, uh, give a thumbs up, follow along. I'm probably going to be doing some more uh, trailer work uh, over the winter just to try and get it closer to being finished for the spring. Um, the next big thing I have to do is I'm actually going to borrow a buddy's uh, sandblaster and uh, going to just blast all the rust off this thing and then um, have a tent on order. So I'm going to put up a tent, get the trailer under a tent so that way I can work on it through the winter and start grinding away at uh, getting this thing done. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, have a great weekend, and I'm off to work tonight. So, all right.